Back here at home, an eyewitness account of an overnight shooting on the north side. The shooting at Chaser's Sports Bar and Lounge left 26-year-old Terrence Lamont Scott dead and possibly wounded a woman who showed up at a hospital later. The night team's Garrett Berger talked with a man who was inside the crowded bar when those shots rang out. At first, Gabriel Awile thought the shots were part of the music. Until I looked up after the first two and then I seen them go again and I was like, oh, it's for real. You know, it's it's real. Awile had been out with friends at Chaser Sports Bar and Lounge, but he says with those shots, things went crazy. People were getting trampled. My friend was being trampled in the process. I had to pick her up. I got outside. We we're looking for cops. There was just complete chaos. Awile says he took this video about 10 minutes after the shooting when he went back into the bar capturing the horrific aftermath. A while said he knew something was going to happen. No security whatsoever. They were just letting people going in. I mean, the place was packed. Like something was bound to happen, you know, I feel. And I had a bad feeling about that. We reached out to Chasers over Facebook asking about security. Someone on their page responded that there were three armed security guards and any men coming in get patted down while women have their purses checked. They wrote in part, quote, so the person or persons responsible had to go through great measures to sneak in a gun with armed security. But someone did. I just felt sad, man. He was young, you know. He was young, real young, you know. And it just, it broke my heart to see somebody just go, like, just having a fun time. The person responding to us from Chaser's Facebook page did not give us their name, and when we went by the bar earlier today, it appeared that it was still closed. Police are looking for the shooter tonight, and Awayo said while he did not see the shooter, police tell us that the only description they have is a man wearing all red. Live at Public Safety Headquarters, I'm Garrett Berger, KSAT 12 News.